Welcome back and welcome to anyone new. Yoga for Health and Joy. Today we are going to focus on the hips. We're in the middle of the series and we're a little below the middle of the body. So last class we worked on the lower back and the hips. Today we're just going to give all the love to our hips. Inner rotation, outer rotation, stretch out the hip flexors and move it all ways it can. I'm Patricia Becker. I'm so glad you're here. And then just want to let you know the next class, we're going to work more on the hips and then move to the hamstrings as well. So for now, get your sit bones in back and apart. And if you have a blanket, you can sit your sit bones up on the blanket. Let your thighs fall down. <clears throat> Draw your shoulders back. Lift your heart up. Please close your eyes and settle in to being here present this moment with your breath, with your body. And please take a few more longer, deeper breaths. And I'm here situated in California, too close for comfort to um, one of the fires, the CZU fire in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So if you would like to join me in sending love and appreciation and gratitude to all the firemen and all the agencies are helping to put the fires out. We are also expecting a rain, a thunderstorm, and we're hoping that it'll be lots of rain to help put the fires out with no lightning. Rain, rain, rain in California. You can visualize that with me, rain coming all down over the mountains, up and down the California lines, mountains. There's scientific studies done that praying does work. Praying works even if the people don't know you're praying. So we're sending our prayers, our intentions, our appreciation to all the people helping in this situation. Take a bigger inhale, slower exhale. Gently open your eyes and bring your arms up in front of you and then keep stretching all the way up. <laughs> Hook your thumbs together and from your sit bones and your hips down on your blanket or your mat, reach up as high as you possibly can. And then you can shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> Getting lots of space as your hips are your foundation, grounding you down so you can lengthen through your spine, through your torso. 
exhale your arms down, clasp your hands behind your back, draw your shoulders back, engage, lift your heart up. And we'll take a few breaths here and you can pulse, squeeze the heels of your hands together perhaps even, and then maybe take your arms further away from you. And maybe you can even have a hint of a smile here. Because no matter what situation we're in, there's always a thought we can choose to make us feel a little better. And release your arms. And then reach up again. Hook your thumbs the other way and stretch. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Feel your hips anchoring you down as you lengthen. So hip openers are great to help reduce, reduce stress and anxiety in addition to all the physical benefits. Exhale your arms down and clasp your hands behind your back again the other way. Clasp your hands your non-dominant way, shoulders back, heart up, and a few breaths here. Hip openers help us move better, help relieve lower back pain, help with many, many things, and release. Okay, we're gonna have one seated one here with your legs crossed, walk yourself straight out in front of you, keep your hips back as you lengthen your spine. Keep your head right in line with your spine. And keep those hips back as you reach long. Nice big outer hip stretch, nice even one here. Now walk your torso out over your left knee. And we'll take this class a little slower in the, this month of August. Slowing down so you can really have the opportunity to breathe and connect with the stretch. Walk through center and stretch your torso right out over your right knee. Use your inhale to help you lengthen. And your exhale to tack that outer left hip back. Come through center and stretch yourself out evenly. Again, right through the middle. And walk yourself right on back up. And then I will meet you in on all fours, quadruped, hands and knees. Set your blanket aside. Spread your fingers really wide. Make sure your wrist crease are lined up with the front of your mat. And then stretch your right leg straight back. Firm your belly. Reach your left arm long. Bend your right leg and lift your right foot higher to the ceiling. And then set your knee down and your hand down. With your toes tucked behind you, pick up your left foot and stretch it back. Spread your left toes. Reach your right arm long, firm your belly, bend your left leg and reach your left thigh higher. Stretch out your hip flexor a bit. And slowly lower it down. Back to the first side, right leg back, left arm long. Bend your right leg, reach your right leg up. Stay here or optionally reach your left leg back, your left arm back and get a hold of your foot with your hand. 
and then arch your back. And release. Push your left foot back away from you. Make sure your right toes are tucked for stability. And then reach your right arm long. Bend your left knee and lift your left foot higher to the ceiling. Stay here or reach back with your right hand. Get a hold of your foot. And then see if you can arch a little bit. Your left thigh comes up. And lower that on down. Take your knees apart. Set the tops of your feet down. Touch your big toes together. Press your hips back for a nice child's pose, balasana. Press your hips back as far as they will go and reach your arms long. And walk your torso out over to your right knee. Reach long through your torso over your right thigh, over your right knee. And then feel. You'll probably feel your left hip coming up, trying to come up and twist with you. See if you can energetically tack it back. Come through center, over to the left. Reach long through your spine. Pack your right hip back. And use your inhale to get more space, more freedom in the pose. And then Come through center, stretch yourself long again, symmetrically right through the center. And come back up to all fours. Take your knees over to the edges of your mat. Come to your forearms. And then you can stay right here with your knees at the edges of your mat. Shifting your weight side to side, front to back, or you can take your knees out a little further. Just go right to that sweet stretching spot for your body. <clears throat> Have your ankles and your shins in line with your knees. I have my knees on the floor here, as you might see, and it's quite nice because I can slowly slide out without any friction. But there is benefit if you don't have a floor to having the friction too. Let your heart melt. This is called frog pose. Big outer hip rotation here. Woo! Breathe. Always there on the side of caution when you're stretching your body in new areas or familiar areas, as you play it safe. Breathe. Stay here for another couple breaths, pulsing your pose around a little this way, a little that way. And then when you come up, come up to your hands, you have more control than to bring one knee in a little, the other in, 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 side to side. And then tuck your toes, spread your fingers, knees up, hips up, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. And we'll stay here for five breaths. You can go ahead and walk your dog if you'd like. Of course, this pose is a good hip stretch. 
as well as many other areas of the body getting stretched and strengthened. And now bend both knees about five inches, four to six inches, lift your hips higher and your knees are bent here. Arch your lower back, push your arms down, see if you can get more space in your spine, hips up and back, hips up and back with your lower back arched. Now slowly press your thighs back to straighten your legs. And bend your knees, look between your hands and walk your hands up to meet your feet. Bring your hands to your hips, draw your shoulder blades on your back. You can bend your knees a little bit here and then stand up and push your legs straight and reach all the way up to the sky. Reach really high. Exhale your arms down. Inhale, reach high again. Reach up through the back of your body. Reach up through the front of your body. Bend your knees and exhale. Hinge at your hips, hands down. Step your left foot back, left knee down. You can roll up your mat to pad your knee or put your blanket under there. And then inhale, reach up, reach high. Hug your hips together as you reach. Your back toes are tucked. And now bring your hands down on your thigh, right by your hip crease, and lean forward with your torso. Keep your torso straight up and down as best you can as you lean forward for a big hip flexor stretch. Shoulders back, heart open. So this is the way we don't often take our leg. So those muscles on the front of your left leg there, right at your hip crease. Wow, this feels so good. I hope you're in agreement with that. Come back, hands down. Step your right foot all the way back for down dog. And help yourself to plank pose. You can set your knees down if you'd like or stay in plank pose. Push the floor away. And then slowly lower yourself all the way down. Hands alongside your chest. Stretch your legs way back. Press your hips down. Press your pelvis down. And then pull your torso forward. Lift your heart forward. Draw your shoulders back. Press your hips down, lift your heart forward. Exhale back down. Tuck your toes and push yourself up and back for down dog. Take your left leg up to the sky. Look between your hands, big kick, step your left foot between your hands, rest your right knee down, and roll up your mat if you'd like. Inhale up, come up, and then reach on up. Your back toes are tucked, hug your hips together, root through your legs as you reach through your torso. Lots of space here in our lungs. We're breathing. Lots of space in our torso. And then keep your chest lifted, hands right on your thighs, right by your hip crease, and then lean forward. You can even slide your right knee forward to get on the muscles of your knee rather than the bony part. Yeah, push your hands down into your 
by. Push your skin into the muscles and the muscles into the bones. Lean forward and breathe. So good to get some length and release in those tight muscles here that are contracted so much of our day. And then back up, put your hands down, straighten your back leg and push into your right left foot, step the back foot up. Root to your legs, inhale, stretch all the way up to the sky. Bring your palms together, slide your hands down in front of your heart for mountain pose. You can check in with your hips and see if your hips are lined up by checking to see how you're standing. If you're standing with your feet out, well, one foot out, that probably means one of your hips has an outer rotation to it. So little by little, when you notice that, you keep lining yourself up to get your hips in better alignment. You can do that during your day too, on your yoga mat and off your yoga mat. Okay, inhale, reach all the way up. Bend your knees, take your hips back. Exhale, fold. Please step your left leg all the way back to the back of your mat. You can set your left knee down, pad it if you'd like, and now open your torso to the right. And notice your right hip might want to come up. See if you can keep your right outer right hip tacking down here as you rotate your spine. You can stay with your left knee down or lift it up and stretch out through your left heel. And windmill your right hand down. And step your left foot up to meet your right foot. Step your right foot back and set your right knee down. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Tack your left hip, outer left hip down towards the earth and open your chest to the left, left shoulder, left arm, left fingers, reach up to the sky. You can enjoy this with your knee down or enjoy it with your legs straight. Stretch out through your right heel. And take your left hand down, step your right foot up. Press through your legs, inhale, stretch all the way to the sky. And bring your hands, palms together, slide your hands down in front of your heart. Okay, we are going to do a standing balancing pose to stretch out the outer hips. So legs parallel. Bend your knees, stick your hips out, and then come up on your right tippy toes. Wrap your right thigh over your left thigh. And you can always put your right toes down to help uh, as you're practicing balancing, or you can start picking it up. And maybe you can wrap it around. So you pick whatever feels good to you. Squeeze your inner thighs together and squeeze your hips together. Open your arms. And then wrap your left arm under your right. Sink a little lower, lift your chest up higher. And unwrap your arms, stand up and unwrap your legs. So by the way, I had a request for restorative class. If you too would like a restorative class, please leave me a note in the comments or the chat. So if we get 
enough of people want a nice restorative class, I'm happy to do that. Side two, bend your knees, hips back. Come up on your left tippy toes, wrap your leg around, set your tippy toes down or pick them up and squeeze your inner thighs together, squeeze your outer hips together. Maybe you can wrap your ankle around or not. Open your arms. Right arm under your left. Sink a little lower through your legs. And then lift up, unwrap your arms and unwrap your leg. Okay. So take your legs a little wider apart and we're gonna do big hip circles. See how wide you can take your hip circles. Way out to the side, way back, way forward. Get the motion, that healing circulation flowing. You loosen your hips. And then go the other way with your hip circles. Excellent. Okay, take your legs a little wider apart. We'll do the goddess pose. Goddesses and gods, men. You can turn your toes out a little bit. Bend your knees, hands on your thighs. Yeah, you can push your hands in your thighs, draw your shoulders back, sink your hips down. And then keeping your hips back, exhale your right shoulder over towards your inner left knee. Inhale up. Exhale your left shoulder to your right. Inner right knee. Inhale. And the other way. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Draw your navel to your spine. We'll do a few more times. Exhaling as you draw your navel back, inhale up, and then last time. And then come straight up through center, sink a teeny bit lower, and then push your legs straight, stretch your arms up to the sky, reach up. Exhale your arms down. Heel toe your feet back together. And then wrap your right leg over your left. Push your both feet down, squeeze your hips together. Some people this is very easy for, some people it's challenging. So, and if it's challenging for you, you're still a good person. <laughs> Reach your arms up, squeeze your left wrist with your right hand, stretch taller, and then press your hips out over to the left as you bend to the right. If this isn't feasible for you, you can just do it with your legs parallel as you press your hips out. Your left hip out, right hip compacts. Inhale up, exhale your arms down. And we'll do the other side. Wrap your left leg over. Take time to make sure you're squeezing your inner thighs together and your outer hips together. Reach up. Lovingly squeeze your right wrist and use that to stretch taller 
as you bend to the left and press your right hips, your hips out to the right. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, lower your arms. Unwrap your legs. Let's do it again. Right leg over. Squeeze your hips together and then reach long. Squeeze your left wrist. See if you can grow one inch taller. And then bend to your right. Feel your hips. Feel your right hip compacting, your left hip lengthening. Enjoy the stretch. Enjoy the gift of your breath. And this time you've made for yourself, for your self-care. Come on up. Exhale your arms down. And one more side. Left leg in front. Squeeze yourself together side to side, and then root through your legs and reach through your spine. Squeeze your right wrist with your left hand. Grow again, and then bend to the left. Press your hips out to the right. You might notice one side's easier to get your hips out. I notice this side's a little more challenging. It doesn't want to bend as much as the other side. It's nice to just explore our bodies and acknowledge our strengths as well as our limitations. Inhale, reach up, exhale your arms down. Okay. Come on up to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach, bend your knees, stick your hips back, and lower your arms. Place your hands down the outside of your feet. Step your left leg back. Step your right leg back. Here we are in our BFFP. Take a few breaths here. And rest your knees down. Please roll over into your backs. We're going to do Suki Randrasan, a nice hip opener. <clears throat> Have your knees bent. And feel your shoulders anchoring down on the mat. Pick up your right ankle, cross it over your left knee. And tack your right knee energetically away from your torso. You should feel your lower back on the mat. This is stage one. You can just stay here, enjoy this pose, or pick up your left foot. Take your right hand in between your legs, left hand on the outside. See if you can hold on to the top of your shin. Squeeze your hips in. If your shin's too far, hold on to the hamstring area. Just squeeze your legs in for the big, nice, juicy hip stretch. Oh, that feels good. Squeeze in, and you can release it a little once you squeeze it to, to the maximum, and then release it, and then squeeze it in again. Use your breath to inform you how much, how far to go in any pose, every pose. Now move your hands, interlace your fingers behind the belly, your hamstring, and tack your right knee away from your chest energetically. Tack your left thigh away from your chest now. Optionally stretch your left foot up to the ceiling. Activate your feet so your toes are spread. Your lower back's on the mat. 
and your left thighs moving away from your chest and your right knees moving away from your chest. And then slowly lower your left leg, set your left foot down, uncross your right leg, and left foot crosses over your right knee. And you energetically tack your left knee away. You don't, I don't encourage you to use your hands because if you use your hand, you could easily take it too far. But if you use your muscles, your legs to tack it away, you're, you're gonna be, you're just going to do exactly right. Pick up your right foot optionally and then hold on to your right shin. Squeeze your legs in. Nice outer left hip stretch. Where do you feel it? You can pulse it, release it, and then take it in again. We want to keep mobile, right? As long as we live, be able to move around in our bodies with ease. This is, we're laying the, grant, the groundwork now for that to happen. Now move your hands to the belly of your hamstring and tack your left knee away. Now, not in, but away. Right thigh away, lower back on the mat, and optionally right foot up. Press your hands into your hamstring, and press your hamstring back into your hands. And then you can even give a little tug down, press your hands down on the hamstrings. Give those hamstring attachments, a little support. And slowly bend your right leg, set your foot down, uncross. Okay, we are gonna do some pigeon poses for those of you interested, Ekapadaraja Kapatasana, or you can just do this pose again, Suki Randrasana, okay? So if you're going to do pigeon pose, roll over, and I'll meet you in down dog. And wherever you are, take two slow, deep breaths. And now look between your hands, bring your right knee to your right wrist. Set your left knee down and slide it back, straight back. And come up on your fingertips alongside so you can bring your torso straight up and down here. And move your body around. Take time to get yourself organized here and stabilized. And you can move your knee out further or in closer, somewhere where it feels appropriate. Should not be any pain in your knee here, or anywhere for that matter. And now we'll stay here for five breaths. As I am, as Barbara said, I am opening my hips and it feels wonderful. I am an irresistible magnet for love, money, and miracles. That's a little sign I have hanging up right behind the camera. <laughs> and now place your hands down for back down, spread for down dog. With your back toes tucked, lift up your left leg and take your right foot back for down dog. 
And then look between your hands again, left knee to your left wrist. Slide your right leg straight back. And I pick up my left heel and try to move it up a little forward. As you continue doing this pose, you wanna, you wanna find ways to get more opening, right? Because if you keep doing the same pose the same way over and over, month after month, year after year, you're not really growing the pose. So you want to find ways to grow the pose. So you get a little stretch every time. Five breaths here. Use your exhale and gravity to let your hips open side to side and front to back. And place your hands for down dog. Straighten your right leg and pick up your left foot and step back for down dog. Two slow, deep breaths. If you were doing Suki Randrasana again, please come into a down dog. And rest your knees down and then sit down. Sit down. Have a seat, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do Baddha Kanasa, the soles of the feet together. Bring the soles of your feet together. And you can have them further out or closer in. Yogi's choice. And then lean to the left. Get a hold of your right sit bone, really get a hold of it, the muscles, and pull it all back and out, and then lean back and have it sit down on it with it back and out. Keep it there as you do the same thing on the other side. Pull it out and back. Get your hips apart. You can hold onto your ankles here or the tops of your feet. Another inner adductor stretch. Inhale your knees up a little bit, and then exhale down a little bit. And we'll do that about five times, slowly, so you have time to feel. Now, for a few more breaths, you can stay upright and still do the same thing, or you can lengthen your torso out over your feet for a little deeper and connect to your breath. Inhale, come on up. Take your hands to the outside of your knees and bring your legs up. Good. Give yourself a hug. Round your back. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Okay. So let your legs come down. Please get your block, if you have a block or both blocks, <laughs> and or a blanket. We're gonna do cow face pose. So I don't do this too often. So a lot, I think because a lot of people have it challenging, but we're just doing it with a sense of play. So just do the best you can. So we begin by coming to your hands and knees with your knees apart. And now pick up the block and place it back in between your feet or the blanket or even put the other block back there just in case you're going to need it. 
Okay. Now pick up, bring your right knee forward and take your right foot out to the left and bring your left knee in behind. So your left knee snuggled up behind your right and your feet are out. So far so good, I hope. And then slowly lean yourself back. Lean back and you can sit down on a block or two blocks or a mountain of blocks, or perhaps you don't need a block. So this is a nice inner rotation of your hips. So there, there's always variation to, to get yourself up. Squeeze your hips together. There's some arm variations that go along with this. We're not gonna do them for now. We're just gonna let our hips feel this. You're gonna feel so good the rest of the day. Feel like you're moving about with greater ease. Okay. Come on up to your hands and knees again. Uncross your legs. Now bring your left knee closer to the center of your torso. Swing your left foot out to the right and cross your right knee behind your left. So your feet are out in a V shape and then slowly lean back and have a seat on your block, your blanket, or your mat. Sit up nice and tall. So like I said, I've seen a lot of people in classes have troubles with this. If this pose is not feeling good for you, you know what? You can still live happily ever after. And you're still a good person. We just play and explore what our bodies can do today and then tomorrow and then the next day. Okay, come on up. We'll do it one more time. Come up to all fours. If you want, you can scoot your blocks over to the side. That's probably easier than trying to move your foot over your blanket or your block. Okay, so bring your right knee closer to underneath your torso and swing your right foot out to the left. Pick up your left knee and snuggle it in behind your right. And your feet are out in a V shape, your shins are out and then slowly sit back. You can hold on your knees, sit up nice and tall, draw your shoulders back. I have happy hips. And slowly come back up to all fours. Uncross your legs. And then left leg towards the center. Right leg snuggles up behind it, feet are out. So you can slowly lower yourself back and sit down somewhere on something. Hold on to your knees, lift up to your spine. Feels so good to stretch out the hips. There's so much emotions that get, get stored in there. And we feel so much better when we're done. This releases. We feel lighter. Inhale. Come on up to all fours. 
uncross your legs. Now, take your knees apart, touch your big toes together and child's pose. Pranam. Let your forehead rest down, let your hips root back as far as they'll go. And inhale, bring yourself up and lay back down on your mat. You can have a block candy. Take your right leg long, bend your left leg, pick up your left foot, pick up your left leg and roll your left hip all the way over. You can set your left knee down on the block or the floor. And if you're using the block, you have, you know, you can use a high, medium, or low. Press your left knee down into the block or the earth. Stretch your right shoulder out the opposite direction. Right hand on your left thigh, energetically tack your left hip away from your left shoulder. Inhale, your left leg up, left arm down. And then we'll change sides. Left leg long. You can set your block over there if you're using it. And right leg up, roll your right hip all the way over. This is a nice inner rotation of your right hip. Yeah, press it down. And stretch your right shoulder the opposite way. And you can take your left hand to your left thigh, if you'd like to tack it away. Or you can just let your left hand go along if you, if you prefer that variation. And then right arm down, right leg up. And bend both legs. Keep your, uh, take your feet over to the edges of your mat, please. This is windshield wiper pose for the rain that's going to fall on California today and tomorrow and for all the next month or two. <laughs> windshield wiper pose. Take your knees over to the left. You can have your arms out like a cactus pose or anywhere, and then turn your head over to the right. Inhale your knees up. Keep your feet over to the edges of your mat and drape your knees over to the right. Inhale your knees back up and take them to the left. Windshield wiper pose. Here's an option as you pick up your left foot and place it on top of your right knee to press your right leg down a little more to coax your right hip away from your right shoulder. Pick up your left foot, set it down on the edge of your mat. Inhale your knees up. 
We take your feet over to the edges of your mat and take stay straight and then drape your knees over to the right. Energetically, your right, your left hip, you're energetically taking it away from your le left shoulder. Pick up your right foot, place it on top of your left knee and press down just the right amount. And remove your foot and bring your knees straight up. And pick up both legs. Take your feet up to the ceiling. Take your arms in between your legs. Hold on to the outside of your feet and roll around for a happy baby. You can imagine our hips are loosening. Wow, were they loose when we were little babies. So loose. And then we grow and things start taking place, firming into place. We can re-loosen, re-lengthen, great flexibility and resilience at any day in our life. Hopefully many days. And set your feet down. Slide your feet on your mat. Let your legs fall completely open. Now here's a little tip. Put your hand under your left glute muscle and bone and pull it out. And then let the left leg fall open. And then take your hand to your right sit bone, your right glute muscles, pull it out. Yeah, and then let your right leg fall open. Just a little thing, but it really can let things open before you rest for Shavasana. Close your eyes. Rest your awareness in the flow of your breath. Bend one leg, then the other. Roll to your right side and pause with your head on your forearms. Let your legs be heavy as you use your arms to bring you up to cross leg and seat and pose. Next class in the series will be hamstrings and hips. I hope your hips are happier now than when we began. From the love in my heart to the love in your hearts, namaste.